In this lesson, let's look at where some of the harmonics are on the bass, and these will be landmarks that you can use to tune the bass or keep your orientation on the fingerboard. If you're coming from electric bass, you know that the 12th fret is an important landmark on the electric bass. That's usually the one with the two dots up 12 frets. Uh, on the double bass, there are no dots and there are no frets. So we need landmarks to help us find the notes. When I look at the entire string length of the double bass, I can estimate about halfway up the string and start looking for the high harmonic. So if I have an open G string here, there's going to be a G harmonic, an octave above, somewhere up here. So here's the open G string. Now I'm going to look for the... You can just tap along the string until you find that harmonic up there. So here's the open G, and there's the high G harmonic. Now I'm playing this with my third finger. Uh, you'll find out later why you use the third finger up in the higher positions, but for now just know that we're going to find the G harmonic with our third finger. Now, centuries ago, a guy named Pythagoras explained to us that when we divide a string in half, the to tone goes up an octave. So, low G, high G harmonic. Low D, high D harmonic. Low A, high A harmonic. Low E, high E harmonic. It's harder to get the one on the E string. So that divides the string in half and takes the note up an octave. Now if we divide the string in thirds, this is going to be useful for when we eventually tune the bass using harmonics. On the electric bass, the seventh fret on the G string would be about here. It's the note D. So let's find the note D. We'll play an open D and then we'll just go up the G string to find that note D on the G string. Now under that note D, if I just lightly touch the string with my fourth finger, there's also a D harmonic. So far, we found the harmonic half of the string, which would be the 12th fret on the electric bass, and the harmonic D on the G string, which would be the 7th fret on the electric bass. That's dividing the string into thirds. So actually, if I go th thirds, half, there's a harmonic up here, which also is dividing the, the string into thirds. That's also the D on the G string. 12th fret, 7th fret, D. Now, if I'm playing that with my fourth finger, somewhere under my first finger is going to be the highest G harmonic, and this is dividing the string into quarters. So you can find that G harmonic, we'll find a low G first, and then you can just move your finger up and down the G string, lightly touching the string, don't press it all the way down, and eventually you'll find this G harmonic there. So we have the D harmonic and the G harmonic, high D harmonic, the octave G harmonic at the 12th fret. So those harmonics are going to come in very handy when we tune the bass and also as a general point of reference when you're finding notes on the fingerboard. That's how the, the structure of the harmonic system on the double bass is laid out.